yeah, four, four Mordor, that's... Four Mordor's not a joke. Four Mordor is not a joke. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Adain mod. Today we are trying... Well, this is my second attempt, actually, at a... Uh, a viewer request. And it is to play as Imladris, or... Um, or uh, Gondor, with an Imladris or Gondor ally. And defend against four brutal Mordor. Now, I have no fake belief in my head that this is going to go well. I know for a fact this is going to go poorly. Because I just tried this on another map where we had an Arnor instead of Gondor. And it was it was still really bad. Still, still really bad. Really, really bad. I was doing really well. But then I kind of got cocky and, I got, and it all went really bad. Now... I chose a eight-player map for this because it gives us a bit, bit more space. We have an early outpost we can take if I get a unit of pikemen. And this map has slightly more creep defences, which can be valuable for us. I believe I can still build on this settlement, which is good. That will give me my cap of five. But then other than that, um, I'm expecting this one to fall quite early. Then we'll build another Regium Forge. We plan to have a Pavilion of Tranquility for healing and um, the Heroic Statue buffs. And obviously the Library, because you need the Library. Um, and yeah, the main thing is, just try and survive for as long as possible. Unfortunately, our ally just threw in all the units. I'm not sure if that's two whole units or two... Yeah, there's two whole units in there right now. Oh, and we're getting uh, rushed already. Now I want to take this outpost before anything else. I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let these pikemen roam. I'm gonna see if I can get them past. And I'm gonna get another unit of blade masses to handle all these orcs. Okay, the orcs have all just pushed through. These the, these uh, blade masses should be able to kill all these orcs no problem if they actually fight. This unit of pikemen I need that outpost right away. I need the outpost and I need the money. And I get both of those things if I just kill off all these orcs and take the wild pit away and build on that outpost before my ally does. AI, the, the AI allies don't, my, a, a, my AI ally does not need these outposts. They are not necessary to my ally at all. And I completely forgot that there were these little passages you can go through as well, which the AI are taking, so that's something I have to think about. Now, unfortunately, AI is here. I'm going to take it now, build up the outpost before... My ally even has the thought of doing it. And that's all of those orcs destroyed. Now, if they were all just going to be orcs and that was it, we would have no problem. But unfortunately, these maps are known for having so many outposts. You can always have an outpost. So Mordor is going to have two or three more hubs of recruitment of three orcs with their four command point cap already because that's how it works for the AI. They just get their command point straight away. Going to get another unit of Blade Masters. And once this is built, we're going to get the, the uh, resources. And the whole point of this is just to have an extra uh, hub of economy without needing to lose out on the supply routes. Or well, because of the supply routes. We're not losing out because of the supply routes. You know what? Yeah, I can take that. I don't need that. I can live without that. I want that wog layer to stay up. Those wog layers to stay up there, though, because they're, they're going to help us for a bit. This I might destroy for a Linden Watchtower. Because having that watchtower will be a difference between life and death. Defin definitely a, tr a difference between life and death with Kurdan and the uh, Linden uh, Guardians. But right now we're saving up for the library. Saving up for the library. We're going to get uh, Erister to be put into here so we can recruit our units faster. I don't want to be building from here constantly. Is the only problem. I don't want to be building constantly from the barracks. I want to have my army, I want to have it strong and consolidated in one place. But, obviously, the world isn't made of sunshine and rainbows, so expect some difficulty along the way. We must protect Middle -earth with haste. But yeah, on a larger map scale like this, compared to the map, uh, the map like um, the River Loon, for example, that has a lot more difficulty because of how tightly knitted everyone is. But on this map, two of the enemies are right over here because I felt like doing it like that. And two of the enemies are over here. So half of them should be uh, coming to me. 
and half of them should be going over to my ally. That's splitting up their power base and making it so when they attack me, I can easily destroy them. And if they attack my ally, I can use my power to protect my ally. That's the plan. The plan is, if this falls, I build another Regium Forge. Until then, I'm going to get Agricultural Studies. I fought against you going Agricultural Studies last time. But honestly, having that extra protection on these farms is paramount. And the extra money that they gain. Because the extra protection they give is necessary. And right now, we've got three farms and two blacksmiths. I'll be saving more. I'll be making more money from the agricultural studies than I will be the blacksmithing studies. And breathe. Oh, I sometimes forget to breathe when I'm doing these kinds of videos. Because there's so much to talk about in so little time. Okay, my allies destroyed the barrowite layer over here. That's good, I guess. We're already pushing into here, which is also good, I guess. I'm hoping the game doesn't crash. The last time I played on this map, the game did crash, but that was quite a long time ago. And I believe I was drunk on that um, particular video. So I can't rem remember half of what happened. I believe I made siege, and I tried to bombard over these mountains, and it failed. I believe that's what happened. Can't remember. Um, <clears throat> Hero-wise, I want to be getting Arwen as soon as possible, I think, is the play here. Other than the Arwen here are good, but they don't have a heal. And I can't trust to have my heal off cooldown all the time. That's too much of a if and or but scenario. And speaking of, let's get the extra tower built up. The back towers aren't necessary until we actually lose the front towers. Because nothing's going to get in. We have a Boromir on our side. Now, I originally thought, okay, have an Arnor ally. It makes it more thematic. Unfortunately, Arnor, compared to Gondor, when controlled by the AI, sucks. Because they just build nothing but their basic troops. And basic troops for Arnor are not better than their elite troops. The elite troops are 100% better for Arnor than they are for Gondor. Because Tower Guard, yes, they're good in against like trolls, but they're not good against basic infantry. And that is what Gondor needs most of the time, because their archers are also really good. And are not hard to get. Because even their basic archers are better than um, than us trying to get our, our archers. Because they're 600 each, 120 command points, and we need to build an upgrade first before we even can get them. Which is worth 900. And it requires to get building of, of a thousand resources. So that's a big economical investment. And it takes literally the more military studies just to get the Ithilian Rangers. Which are on par with, if not better than in largest archers. Just because of their sheer quantity and their abilities. At, um, at uh, when you get them. Now it looks like my allies are taking a bit of, um, having a bit of trouble. But that is fine because, again, Gothmog over there. Half dead already. That's fine. I am actually going to go down and get A from the Shire. I always go down the right side of the tree as in Lardris. That, that is my go-to um, strategy with the uh, the elves. Um, not so much with Lothlorien because um, I prefer the Queen of Lights to the, um, the Queen of the Storms. But definitely the aggressive side of the tree for elves are necessary. Now, we're doing a lot better than last time because, again, we're not being solely focused. I thought if I was solely focused, it would make it easier. But no, the AI always seems to work better in a um, in a dangerous scenario. And Gondor is known for having very strong defences, so I should be fine. I shouldn't need to worry. We're doing, we're doing actually really well. And I'm thinking of demolishing this Hobbit farm, getting the tower now, so I can get this... Um, to be fair, I could build the Green Pasture and get Glorfindel. But... The only problem is, that's a lot of money to invest on just one hero, not actually building any cavalry. If Siege were a prevalent thing I had to be aware of and fear, I would do that. They have Morgul Vanguard. I should get some more pikes. I have one unit of pikes right now. Now, if they come my way, that's going to be rough for me. If they come my enemy's way, though, I'm fairly certain Gondor just spams pikes on base, so they should be fine. Although right now it's not looking like they're doing really well. And Doggle Door has now been built in the sense. So we should expect Castellans on either my side or my ally's side. I need to be aware of that. Pavilion of Tranquility can heal up my troops mid-combat. And then can restore my troops um, when, e when actually in combat. Let's get the last unit of pikemen. And thanks to Eros supervision we are actually getting them a lot sooner than we would without. Oh, Okay, we've now got our um, Hobbit Farms Tier 3. They're making... The most money that they can for us. I'm thinking go military studies straight away. But no, I want to go blacksmithing studies because we want our economy. Economy is the biggest thing in a dying mod that gets over, that gets underused or uh, forgotten about. 
I see a large force coming this way. I'm going to prep the tower on the Hobbit farm along with everything else. Just so they can defend themselves. Because, yeah, unfortunately, these Dunedain do lose to a unit of Orcs. It's, it's a shame to say it, but that is unfortunately the facts of life. Um, do any of these actually give me any more command points? No. This used to, but now just gives me resources, which is fine. It's fine to just have resources from something than just command points. Because obviously command points can only be built from these kind of story. I forget about that sometimes. Shh. I know I forget. Shut up. I forget sometimes that it's a completely different mod now than what it was before 4.5. Uh, they've got level 3 Black Orc Archers. That is actually really t really scary for us right now. Because we don't have a counter to Archers without going into their faces. And our main thing is, I can hold the line forever. But if there's something shooting at me, we're going to have problems. I'm thinking of Eladan and Elra here now. But I'm going to get the Blacksmithing Studies since the Agricultural Studies are done. I think this far out, I should retreat. Yep, I should retreat. I should perhaps also throw down the Hobbits to deal with these Black Orc Archers, but from the back, because those Archers are coming straight into me. There we go. They've been directed into my into my base, but we have extra protection. These Hobbits are going to cleave these Black Orc Archers, and the longer they shoot, the more damage they deal. They're giving us command points, because those Black Orc Archers are worth a good amount of it. Who just said flee? Who just said flee? Oh my god, two versus six. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't do 2v6. 2v4, 2v4 is bad enough. Because unfortunately, it, I mean, if it was two players, 2v8, 2v6 even, I think could do. But myself alone and an AI, no, that, that that's, that's like mixing water and oil. That's not going to work. I need Ellen and Elra here out here now because I see enemy heroes and trolls. But look at that. The AI has two resource structures, a farm... And they're already and they're doing way better than we are. Well, it's because all the units are a lot cheaper. And they just get more money from their resources anyway. In fact, no. Sheriffs, deal with those archers. They are your primary focus. The pr that's the primary main objective. Get rid of any archers before they get to me. Because I can deal with everything but archers, unfortunately. Uh, that's a Blade Master unit that's taken a bit of damage. Going to get in close to the base. Can now get a pantry upgrade while we have it, while the blacksmithing studies are still being researched. This hobbit farm should be fine. Tower's almost off cooldown. And they're not focusing it. They're focusing my base, which is what I wanted. And because we had that unit slightly lower in uh, unit size, we actually managed to get Elan and Elru here out now, which is very good. Unfortunately, as you can see, heroes do about as much damage as our units do. Which is funny to think, but it's also quite scary because Mordor is infamous for their, all their heroes because mo normally you'd have to think, oh you'd have to get the Witch King from Minas Morgan, you need to get the uh, Kamul from Dogledore they have no such restriction, they don't care, they will just get everything out e e instantly and you have to worry about that, unfortunately Star I'd say is the least effective hero for Mordor AI because they don't need to use the um, they don't have to do the questing system to get the, the uh, Nazgul leveled up they just get they just get them all level ten immediately because the Nazgul use black breath. I don't believe they use any of their abilities other than uh, the Dark Riders using black breath, which is obviously a problem still. Our heroes have just walked in because they ignore bo uh, hit boxes, unlike our infantry. So that's a problem. Um, I want Elrond next actually. If I bought a second pavilion, how much is it going to save me? Ten. Ten percent isn't worth it to spend four hundred on a on a building. I mean, it makes sense, but I've just lost this Hobbit farm, so I can now build this forge. And I will. Uh, don't use Arwen's heal yet. The enemy heroes are pushing into our pikemen, so let's have them do their work. Arwen is safe. She won't be for long. Blame Masters focus down those units. Miravorn now, while our units are starting to run low on health. Okay, yeah, no, we should fall back. We should fall back now. We've almost got Bombadil, but we don't have Bombadil, and that's the problem. I need one more unit of pikemen to do with all these cavalry heroes. They've got... They've, they've just built Kirifungal in my base. No. No, don't let them do that. Don't let them do that. Don't let them do that. They're going to do it. God damn it. Okay, fall back. Fall back. Fall back to the pavilion. We'll soon be able to heal you. 
They're getting trolls as well. That's a problem. I don't want to lose this unit. So pikemen suddenly just turn back around. Charge into, those, into that troll and that map of Sauron. And kill both, please. So we save our blade masters. The trouble of dying. They don't want that to happen. Black Crocs are now in the front line trying to chase down our units. They will soon die. Um, Erastor, I want you to get out of there now. And um, yeah, don't need those packs anymore. We're fine. Erastor going to the Regian Forge. Blacksmith studies have all been built. We can now get heavy armor. And now our units can start actually tanking. Which is really good. They got uh, Castellans. We need to fall back. With this much and stuff coming to our side. That's a troll on my side over there. I want to deal with that, but I don't think I can. I have Tom Bombadil now. We don't have particularly from the Bruin in, unfortunately, so we are going to lose that Hobbit farm. I'm going to build the Watchtower here now to try and save it. But yeah, the troll destroyed that. Guaranteeing I need to rebuild that as a Linden Watchtower. Don't let them build that as their own. Tom, stop them from doing that. Arwen, you're at the front. Use your light. Scare their units away for a bit so our units can fall back and heal. That's a level 5 unit of Castellans that has chopped for our army, by the way. Level 5. I was right to fear them. Oh, crap. Oh, no, it's the AI that built that. My, my enemy that built that. Still bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it was because I can actually destroy that and then rebuild it in my own image. Um, more blame masses. We're getting to struggle with spam now. Tom's in the middle of the clump. Deal with those archers in the back. I prefer it if it was the Black Horror Archers, but I can do that with my towers, thankfully. Tom, come back and deal with this now, if you can, if you would. If you wouldn't be so inclined. I don't know, I want you to make your choice to have heavy armor and fall back into the base again. My ally is here, which is not helping me because I need them in. I need my units in the base, making sure all archers are in melee range. Tom is a master. And then when they clump up, Tom the Summit songs them from across the map. Come on, Tom. Hit the ones that aren't walking into the base. Like I thought they would. I think we lost all our pikemen in that fight. No, we still got one. One single pike with an arch with a um a thing survived. Good. Give these guys all heavy armor. Throw out the tower that there to protect it from those. Kirifungol units. I think they're Kirifungol. No, they're just Orc Pikes. Um, Dunedain encampment. Destroy that. And in fact, get some Dunedain as well. No, don't get those Dunedain. I want the archers, actually. If I was getting any Dunedain, I'd want archers. Let this Hobbit farm fall. And that's all our Hobbit farms destroyed, unfortunately. Our ally is just sitting pretty. They've got, they, they've got no problems whatsoever. They're sending units into enemy base, which is delaying them. And those delays actually really help us. Now, if they're going to keep summoning those archers in from that base, I'm going to have to summon the army of the last alliance just to destroy that. Get the magic blades. And then once I'm able to make this a Linden Watchtower. Just so we can defend itself better against trolls. And so I can get our elite troops and another hero. That's the big thing here now. We need to get our heroes out while having money at the same time. And from that attack alone, we lost all our money and it cost me a tier 3 power. Any unit that comes into the base on its own is going to die. That is fine by me. I'm more than happy to say anything they try to do is going to get nullified by me. And it also seems like I'm still the number one focus. My god. Oh my god. They just love focusing the player, apparently. Which I'm happy with, because I'm better at defending than Gondor is right now. And I think Gondor, if they if they um, wanted to, they would actually defend my base. That is a clump. I want to destroy the Kirifungal barracks before they brought up any more clumps. That's unfortunate. I could re recruit some Lord Masters of Earth to attack them from range. That might not be a bad idea. That might be the best idea I have here. Once these Magic Blades have been made, I shall... Um give them to my all of my units along with the upgrades for them I should get the military studies next because it will upgrade my barracks will make my units recruit faster and I mean I can get close to the barracks of the last alliance and it will mean I can 
give my units their um, abilities. Blade Master's still better right now by a long shot. By a long, long, long shot, they're still better. Okay. Everything over there is not focusing my units. They're focusing my base. That is fine. They will die. I want that Kiriform Gun Barracks gone before I get a tower. I want it gone before it even has a chance to re resist me. I want it surrounded. I want it gone. Now. Give them your spears. Oh, and you're far away from those uh, archers, but that's fine. Because they're about to die to the soon-to-be upgraded magic bladed blade masters. And they're soon to have Eregian blades, which will make it so they have a faster attack speed. Higher attack speed, yes. Great. Perfect. We'll cut through them even faster soon. And again, while archers would help us deal with their backline... We should soon be able to cleave through the front line so fast that we'll be in their back line before they even have a chance to react. In fact, this is good. This is very good. We're soon to have our Hobbit farms back, which we are in desperate need of because the economy and the protection that they offer is paramount. And yet they're not focusing me. They're just walking into my base. It's good to see the AI glitch from time to time. Whew. And Gondor's sort of throwing in tower guard and cavalry. Slowing down trolls from advancing into our base. That is really good. I'm fairly certain they've built up these output, these camps here. I'm fairly certain they have. I'm going to save up for Army of the Last Alliance. Because that is going to be a, a, um, a game saver. No, actually no. Protection of the Bruin then. If my ally gets screwed over, I need to protect them. And at the same time, if something bad were to happen, I'm going to need it to defend my base. And just possibly destroy a army. Because that's what it can do. Hobbit farm get built, Eregian blade be bought. Our base is safe because they're not focusing us, they're focusing the inner base. And that is the stupidest thing an AI can do to try and stop me, is to focus the inner base. Which is protected by so much without them having seed. I'm going to talk a lot of damage there. I'm going to use her heal now. The light of the even star does not wax and wane. It is mine to give to who I will. As is my heart. I need the money from these wagglers. That's why I'm going up here. We're in a very good position to actually do this. We are not in any like forceful rush to defend. Because look, even just looking at this, we, we are so well off right now. We've got, two we've got three powers online right now. One is a get out of jail free for our army, which is currently going through the, the, uh, the warg dens. And another one is a destroy enemy siege potentially, or destroy... An enemy army potentially and save an ally structure. Yeah, we're in a really good position. We we are really doing well here. I don't know why the twins are the only ones that came over there. Don't tell me you're stuck. That'd be the worst thing to happen right now. Is that all my level five units would just get stuck. Okay, no, leave that Wagler where it is then. Let's not do anything stupid. I want Kurdan and I want him to level up here so we will soon have full map vision. I believe that's what he can do still. That might be his level 10 though. Well, to be fair, at this rate, we are going to get there. Gildor, you know what? You're 150, you're 15 command points. Even you're worth it eventually because you've got a mini arrow volley, I think. I think you're the one with the mini arrow volley. Or am I thinking of Carthian? I'm thinking of someone. Is this worth using protection of the Bruinen on? No. No, not not even close. I am, however, going to build a medic tent back here. So we can potentially get rid of this pavilion. I'm thinking, because our base is not getting as focused as much as I thought it would be. But I am going to check if they've built up over here. They have not. They've put half their army over there, though. I wonder. If I was to send an army... If I was to send my army over there... Could I take this uh, camp... And actually hold it. That is a lot of trolls. That is a very scary army that Gondor is holding back. And I'm very thankful that they are. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know how or why they've managed to do it. Now let's look at this. Linnaeus is immediately recruited. That's what he does. Right, right. Yeah, I need these Guardians of Linden. They're going to be valuable. A very valuable unit indeed. Firstly, 
upgrade the unit, the things we do have before the thing, upgrade the things we don't have. I'm going to destroy this slave farm so we can get back into the game a little bit. Okay, the trolls are coming. The trolls are on their way. You better not... You better watch out. You better not cry. It's a new year, so I'm not sure if this is bad luck. But the troll spam is on the way to kill us all. And the hobbits are not good against them. Very, very, very noted. But my army is, though. My army is really good against them. Drummer troll. Say goodnight. Sweet prince. There's armored trolls. I want them coming into the base. Because, yeah, that's a Boromir that has died in there. Or somewhere. A Boromir that has died somewhere. From here into here, they will rush in. <sighs> Protection of the Bruin and for the win! I've got face cam on, so I remember to actually do the thing with my arms. We must stand against them. Okay, next units we get are Veterans of the Last Alliance. Nothing shall stand before us. I don't know, are we here now level 10? The light of the even star does not wax. You tell him, Arwen. Is heal a good... Is a good time to use heal? No. No, we're, we're good here. My ally's good. We might not be safe at my base, though. No, we're safe at my base. Let's just come over, over back over here and deal with this problem. Hobbits are just beating up. Aurochs are just walking past like, you have bullies. Like, what have we done? You've done enough just by existing. We'll get the gold-tipped arrows now. No, we won't. Get Arista out of there. Put him back in the barracks. Because we're soon going to get to level 3 so we can get our veterans. And we want them all back immediately out on the field. And look at this. Our undying army with golden blades. Cutting through swaths of orcs. And now, like I said, we've cut through the front line. Now we can get into the back line. And my allies helping with that with their cavalry. Oh, it's beautiful. I want Elrond. Am I just going to save up for Elrond now? I can't make up my mind on what I want to do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put down this here so they can't destroy anything. Uh, I am going to get the Light of the Even Star because Arwen is going to do is going to already doing some good stuff for us. I'm going to throw down the Breeze of Manway to stop these heroes from killing my units, which I think they might have already done on one of my units. I'm going to throw down my heal by mistake. I meant to throw down the journey. Try and throw it in a place where it's back enough that we actually can get it to level 3, but close enough that... I don't know. Shut up. Okay. I'm going to take this outpost. If it means I lose all my money, then no. But if it means I can defend my ally a bit better, I probably will. Uh, Arwen, you're taking a bit of damage. Ellen and Ara here, you should protect your sister. From two Dark Marshals, by the way. Because one isn't bad enough. There's one unit of orc archers just sitting there. Watch one of my blade masters get near that, that that unit of archers and just obliterate it. We're on the way. Oh no, the barrage is going to get there before I do. I must steal the glory. I must steal the power. Oh, they split up. Well, my base is still fine. <laughs> Apparently, not being the focus of the enemy is actually really good. You can just do all this other stuff. Do I want this? I really do not. I want my ally to take this, but I don't want my enemy to take it either. I don't want it, but I, might, but I want my ally to have it. Um, I think I get like the even star, which will make my heroes heal faster, and they'll get more experience, which is perfect for Elrond when he eventually arrives. It's good for Kurdan because he's going to be get, get, get uh, making it so when we get the London Guardians, we can get them straight away. Well, I think the next thing we're getting is Elrond, just to get him to level up, level up quickly. Because Elrond level 10 is a perfect counter to Mordor in all its forms. That's a troll. It's walking very slowly. I'm not afraid. Because of all he has behind him are orcs. You know what? I'm going to build a hobbit farm. Screw my economy, I say. <laughs> Screw the economy. Oh, there goes gravity. I'm going to go back to my base, actually. I'm going to get rid of this pavilion now. We're not in our base enough. That the pavilion is doing enough. I'm going to build the stables and I'm going to get Glorfindel. That's the plan now. Or maybe just build another... Uh, 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 build another Aurelian Forge, maybe. 
Maybe I get glow now and then just build the forge because there's still no siege. We've still not been sieged out of our of this uh, situation. So I think we're doing fine as we are. That tower's not back yet. This tower is back. Good, good. And uh, they're attacking me here. It's orcs. They, they don't stand a chance. Hobbits are better than orcs. Now my units here at the medic tent. This is what makes the Dunian encampment so good for Inlardris. Everything about it is so good. Build the green patch so we can soon build Glorfindel. We can now begin building the veterans of the last alliance. I'm not going to yet. I know I want to. I really, really, really want to. But it is not yet their time. Dealing with the troll spam is the biggest problem. And unfortunately, veterans are not good at that. Because half those trolls are going to be wielding maces that are good against cleaving enemy infantry away. So we want pikemen. We only got one, we only got, still got the one unit. We lost the unit of our blade masters in the last fight somewhere. Not sure where that we lost them, but we did lose them. Uh, this tower is back online, so we'll just use that to cut down these orcs. They should hopefully survive. Our allies have thrown our army of the dead. Is that good? I think it is, because it means I don't have to worry about protecting them. Although I probably should anyway. Maybe just move up to the, protect my own hobbit farm. That might not be a bad idea. You know, protect my own, protect the stuff I put my own interest into. Um, yeah, Glorfindel, and then we're just going to demolish this green pasture. Oh, well, no, we can't. We will defend the elven lands. Oh, no, we can. Good. I was a bit worried there that I couldn't destroy my own building. What do you mean I can't destroy my own building that I only built for one hero and then wanted to get rid of because I don't like it? So, unfortunately, the units are not necessary for the faction because melee clump is just so much better than cavalry clump. And I've actually done that before. Cavalry clump within lodges is not fun. Especially since Glorfindel Windriders suck. They're so bad, the Glorfindel Windriders are. Look at this glorious army. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, Rivendell units that haven't got any upgrades. Get upgrades. Is my structure over here still standing? Good. And the tower's back. Use the tower. That tower should probably be used whenever it's off cooldown. Because that's how much is going to be needed. Um, I could invade the enemy base with this. I could invade an enemy base and actually destroy some stuff. Um, find a banner that's hopefully not going to die. It's already got the banner of Arwen, but I'm going to give it the banner of Arwen again, because why not? Uh, Elrond, your power is not back yet, but stay close to Arwen and it will be back soon. Uh, what's this ability do again? Oh, it just makes enemy... Oh, Alright, they're, they're just... All based around killing enemy heroes. Yeah, they're getting all those black orcs from there. They ha they have now built up this, and that's why they're getting more trolls over there. Good, good to know that. Not good that I can't build there anymore, but good to know why I can't build there anymore until I get my level my tier fours out. <laughs> okay, okay, good to see ya. you. Can, you can you can just keep it on the background anyway. <laughs> you just watch from the background. Have it mega volume, so you can just watch. Any Shan. We must protect Middle Earth. And yet we now got the force focused assault. For 30 seconds, deal with bonus damage against enemies without um, heavy armor. The enemies. Love now 45 command points. It almost makes him not worth it. It does almost make him not worth it. He is my least favourite Rivendell hero. I mean, he's good and all. Don't get me wrong. He is good. He does stuff well that other heroes can't. But unfortunately, hero killing. We've got the twins for that. And they don't require a building that we only get that hero for. AoE damage. We have an army that does that. And speaking of army, that's a bunch of trolls I don't like. Let's um, blast them away with a quick bit of water. I did not blast them back like I thought it would. Everyone should fall back now. So I've summoned Tom to protect the defense. Uh, is this four or five? It's four. I'm going to get that now, actually. That's really good. I'm going to go out for a bit. Okay, see you later. Prepare to watch another Sonic song. Oh, that was two units just destroyed in an instant. 
Let's see if building this will distract the enemy a bit more as well. We save Kurdan, that's good, because Kurdan's hard to get back. Let's get Glorfindel. And then charge, charge back in with some pikes. Hopefully there's some pikes in there. Kill these off. Soon Elrond will have an ability that gives him AoE damage on base. Uh, this is actually a, an ability you have to choose to use in Age of the Ring, by the way. The light of the evening star does not last me. Uh, what does the rest of these do? And like buildings, huge engines and ships will be repaired for double damage for 30 seconds. Nah. So and I you know, travel to Kurdan. Kurdan fall back, make our army fall back as well. Uh, focus that Morgul rider over there. On the Dillo! Can I get our army back to safety? Good. Everyone got everyone got sent back. Good, good. We don't have the pavilion to heal us anymore, though we can build it again because I've now got Glorfind up, so this building can just go bye bye, bye bye. And Tom has done really well at distracting these guys. Is my thing up still alive over here? No, it's gone. As is my Hobbit farm. No, I'm gonna build this just like I did. Which is not a good reason to be building buildings um, and spending money, but you know. Oh, Sauron's finally entered the field, but he's on his weakest state, so we're fine. No worries whatsoever, we're fine. As long as the trolls die first, we're absolutely fine. And Kurdan's almost level 10, so we can soon get the Linden Guardians to protect us. Gl Glorfindel's already level 4. This is the power of having Arwen and having her level up and having the power. What makes the left side so good as well? It makes all of Rivendell's power tree so valuable because I actually really like Arwen as a hero as well. Just, just liking the hero, just liking the heroes helps me like the faction more. I will not build the pavilion. We're doing really well. I'm going to build another forge because our money is coming out of our ass at a steady pace, but I want it to be at a slightly faster pace. I'm going to throw down the healer so we have that used. We've hit our command limit, that's not good, because we have two units building, one unit building. Let's get the pantries, we can get them back sooner. Deception. To enter the mountain. What of it? There are some that would not deem it wise. All allied buildings, engines, and ships on the map gain 50% armor for 30 seconds. Well, my ally's going to be healthy. Yep, it does affect my ally too, and look at that beautiful building. You think that would be an outpost building? Nope, that's just a settlement building. Thank you very much. Glorfindel, collect Starlight and then prepare to move in and eat everyone for breakfast. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Don't die, don't die, don't die to the Black Riders. Gadoosh! That's a bunch of orcs just died. Oh, they do use Morgul Blades. Black Riders are bullshit. <laughs> uh, Arwen, how close are you to your friends? Not very close, you should be closer. Even star is not right. Good, you were close enough to aid Glorfindel. Although we can now use Blade of Destiny, so just he gets more power. I believe it has more power, right? He changes his armor to silver. Uh, not available during Starlight. Um, only receives half damage from enemy abilities. And his attacks become AoE. Okay. That's okay then. I thought that was different. I thought it was just that same ability that you get in. Uh, base BFM2. It's good to see it's different. Those Catalans are going to destroy our units so quickly it's not even a joke. Need them dead now. I believe that only heals unit uh, heroes. Yep, it only healed you heroes. I regret using it. Glovenel, what does this ability do? Brilliant illumination. Every 15 seconds we're completely protected from an attack or an ability automatically. Okay, so that's just the same thing as um, El uh, Franderwill. It's not as good, apparently. More trolls. Okay, we're going to fall back again. We're going to fall back again. Where's Gildor? He's all the way back here. I could use him and he will sing and then he'll slow everyone down. But that's not worth it. Throw, throw down this over here. So we have protection against magic. Uh, Arwen. Bless this banner. With the banner of Elisar. Get some veterans out here as fast as possible. Blow away all these units, Elrond. And, he's, and by the way, these are brutal AIs, by the way. 
These aren't hards or mediums or easies. These are brutal AIs we're fighting against. This is the, the, the roughest of the rough that the Adain mod can give me. And I've been holding up my own, like, really well. Gorkinel's going to collect Starlight again, and this time it's going to mean even bigger Gadoosh than last time, because there's an army now. Let me show you the power of someone who's been brought back from, from the dead by Eru Luvatar. Orcs all dead. Some orcs survived, though, unfortunately. That's a shame. Uh, my table feels like it's about to fall apart again. Because it is. God damn it. Gorkinel, AoE, and protection of abilities. I'm going to need it. Uh, I have one more Luthien Song. I might need to use Luthien Song. Yep, Luthien Song. Throw it in the back line. Lord, no, you cannot die. I cannot get you back without building another building and destroying a building to do it. So don't die. Please don't die. Why don't you have a Regium Blades? Oh, these are my veterans. You're screwed now. Love now to sit there in God's stance, please. They've come to protect Middle Earth. Uh, Kurdan, use your ring. Oh, that's Kamal. He's a problem because he reflects damage he gets dealt. Okay, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. We're fighting against an army, and we have nothing ready for it. Did Luthien's song do anything? I'm still unsure. How's my ally holding out? Still okay, good. We need him to hold out for as long as possible with this. Summon the Elven Heroes. I got this, got, got, got this level 3, I got this level 3, I got this level 3. Summon the Heroes, summon the Heroes. I don't know if it's summon the Heroes or not. That sucks. I've got protection of the... I probably just protection of the Bruin then. Oh, I'm a fool. A foolish, foolish fool. Oh, Gildor, you don't matter. Honestly, Gildor, you do not matter in the slightest. Elrond, you matter, though. Don't take the words I say to someone else to heart to you. For you. Because that's a bad choice. Of, of, that's, a poor, that's a poor set of life choices there. Shame doesn't get any power points from that. Or any experience from that, even. Oh, he was almost back online. Saved it. Young, Lanala, Siva, the kid in that. Okay, now's the time. Now or never. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Protection of. It went the wrong way. It actually went the wrong way. Are you kidding me? It went the wrong way. But oh, I'm so annoyed by that. I'm actually really annoyed by that. Oh my god. So that just killed a little part of me inside. Why are you over there and not fighting against all this madness? Protect this building, I guess. Although it already has, has protection of a different kind, I guess. Isn't that the table's falling apart, so I'm trying to hold that together as well as everything else. Oh, and Gondor's still spamming trash. God damn it, Gondor. The Orcs are so decisive in their, decide, in their choice to just walk through, they just decide to walk through. Have we actually been killing them, or are we not doing anything? We are really badly wounded in this fight. I might need to rebuild this as the pavilion again. Just to get that, get back what we lost. Oh, Armin can heal. Unfortunately, her father was not in that, which is bad, because he is the one who has the biggest health bar and takes the longest time to heal. But I will live a bit, because I'm about to get another pantry. I don't think Eriso is currently in the um, in here like he says he is. So I'm going to take him out and put him back in there. 
Veterans of the Last Alliance hitting level 4. It's really good. I don't believe we actually lost any either. I believe that all three units are currently out on the field. And are gaining more exper experience because we took the Sanctuary of Knowledge ability. Yeah, the abilities uh, uh, expired. Well, uh, their abilities come back twice as fast. And they have um, extra experience gain. Go with this Kirifungal Barracks. It sights, sickens me. And look at the little damage they're actually dealing to Arwen. I think they're hitting Arwen. It looks like they're hitting Arwen. My, ta my table feels like it needs sorting out properly. Okay, this barracks is now destroyed. Good. Good, good, good. Gonna rebuild that as a hobbit farm soon. And then we will actually have a break again from all the chaos going on around me. I'm gonna get the rest of my storerooms now because we're gonna get the Linden Warriors shortly. And I think I will keep them in bow form. I think I want to keep them in on their bows. It's a shame my pymen are all the way back there because they can't protect me and Elrond is right in the front. You will not kill my heroes today, sirs. You will not be killing me today. Gildor, do something valuable, please. Just do something. Ability that prevents anyone from doing anything in its aura. Yep, that's how busted Glorfindel's level 10 can actually sound like. Continuously paralyzed for 30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to get the last alliance. Because I want to take that outpost, that, that camp away from the enemy when I get the chance. But for now, let's cut off Gorbag. Who can move around in the light because he's a hero. Here's the one thing that can move around in the light. Move away, Pikeman. Move away. Could and save them. Good, get them out. Get them all back inside. And I think I will rebuild the pavilion. I don't have a choice, unfortunately. I just do not have a choice. Dwarven, I'll move, walk back in just so you can uh, fear them. And Gildor can escape. Kurdan can escape, whichever one you are. The light's gone. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Build the pavilion of tranquility. Get the guardians out here now. Arm's abilities are almost back off cooldown. Make another banner. Carrier. Your personal attendee. That is a clump. That is a big army right there. Begin collecting starlight to prepare to unleash it upon the world. Glorfindel. Be ready. Be ready. And release. Beautiful. Oh, by the way, the longer you charge it up for, the more damage it deals. But because it's all it's all orcs, you don't need to charge it up for long. You really, really don't need to charge it up for long against orcs. I'm surprised all of this has remained strong. I'm glad about that. Uh, extra tab up, less armor and speed. I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. Have as much speed as you need. I can protect you. My table is slanting. I'm going to actually take a second to try and fix it properly. Anyone dead? No? Good. Is Sauron dead? Probably. Good. Okay, got it. Yes, I am screwing in a nut into nothingness. God damn it. Okay, I fixed it for temporarily. The light of the evening star does not wax. Keep using the heal off cooldown until we have our heroes full health again. Can't have a situation with like five trolls and no healing. Again. In fact, that's a cool combination that you think of before. Journey to Valinor and protecting another ruin in. Another thing I didn't consider is the elves of Rivendell don't actually need their upgrades because of their um, their tier 4 power. So you could build all authors halls and then just build on top of those or then build you can get the upgrade for all of your different buildings. You can get it back quicker for each other unique one you have because of the, the um, extra cost, the speed reduction, the 
reduction in uh, power. Uh, uh, stupid English. I can't properly function in my head. Power cooldown, that's it. To me, that long to formulate a single sentence, it hurts. I know. Is this going to be of any value? Not really. Is it there? Is it singing a song that could be copyrighted and I haven't yet known? Also possible. Glover on his own and just killed the map of Sauna. No, he's not. He's got Arwen and uh, Elrond with him. But still, that's pretty impressive. But he pretty much killed the map of Sauna on his own. He summoned Shagra. Oh no. Well, Gorbag's dead. And Shagra does no damage to heroes. He's all uh, unit based damage. Rebuild my Hobbit farm I lost. And move into the pavilion and heal up. My god. Breathe, man. Breathe. What was that? That is Kamal summoning his Black Easterlings. And Martha Sauron using his Morgul Hexalai. Or sorcery. As it's meant to be said in English. Push! Oh, shut up. You can hold for as long as I ask you to. Thanks to Arwen. You'll hold indefinitely. Yeah, I believe it's still have all my veterans of the last alliance alive. And now I've got these Rivendell Guardians. I'm going to get another unit of arch the pikemen. I might get some archers, though. I might get some archers. Or I could get some lore masters, because I still have to get the mystical studies. We must stand against them. Oh. Morgul Vanguard being a bunch of... Bitches. Uh, but I'm currently dealing with a big army and I don't have time to worry about stuff like that. Level 7 veterans of last alliance, what does their ability do? Not level 1, they double their damage at the cost of speed. But at level 10, they then gain extra armor. Alright, they go to level 20, right? They're the one unit that's had the stupid leveling. Which I also kind of like. Throw the hobbits down at the back. Uh, Glorfindel get ready to blow up everyone again. Come on, Glorfindel, find the find find the find the sweet spot. Glorfindel, find the sweet spot. Okay, you're just not, not going to move. Okay, put everything in there then. Uh, Arwen, disrupt them. Elrond, use your. Air and I've never seen Mordor use this much of their hero abilities. I think this might be a thing where if they get high enough in level, they're high enough. If the, if the game lasts long enough, they'll start going all out. As if the player was playing them. That was an evil eye. I'm not sure on who. Love not make anyone in your area do nothing. Glorfindel, you are dying to Gothmog. That is not a good sign. I think you got, um... Mouth of Sauron. Run, you fool! I'm going to destroy that building just so I can get him back. I am. Because as much as I hated the fact that that just happened, he is still one of my best heroes. I need him, al I need him alive and on the field. But I do also need my heroes to not run in and die. I might just need to fall back altogether. And throw down the Arm of the Last Alliance. Somewhere. Anywhere. Anywhere. Someone's going to die because they just got Morgul Bladed. It was Arwen. Okay, I can live with that. I think she was saved her father. Good. I think I just saved Elrond. I think... I just saved Elrond. But I can't get Arwen it back right now. I lost Elrond. Well, luckily, I've got this. Gildor, oh no. Yeah. Thank you, Gil Gallard. My god. I lost the unit of veterans of the last alliance. That's shameful, actually. Kill the trolls. Kill the trolls. They're the primary main objective of what needs to die here. Drive 
Then fall back. Survive. I'm not asking you to hold them. You've killed a good amount of heroes, Glo uh, Elevan Elra here. You deserve to live. Glorfindel, I'm going to have to say no to him, actually. Why did you go back in? I told you to leave. Oh, my God. Well, I lost all my heroes and all my army in that one attack from, I'm assuming, free AI, and I'm still losing. That is not a good sign. I'm going to need to summon out Bombadil now as well. I'm assuming all the focus is on me, except for the one AI that has never attacked me, which is destroying the enemy Gondor now, because the Gondor has done nothing this entire game. Oh my god. Yeah, I think this might be the it. This might be the end. We might have just lost this, unfortunately. Because they've got Gorfauer. They might have just got Gorfauer and is wrecking my face. Send your wife and son to images for safekeeping. Yeah, all my heroes died. I lost all my economy in this. Which is really bad, if you hadn't guessed. That is a really bad thing to see. Yeah, wow. Mordor late game just stops pulling punches, don't they? But to be fair, again, this is four brutal AI we're fighting against here. Not just one, not just two, but four. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, this is the end. We cannot fight off this off indefinitely. Because, yeah, my ally's dying as well now. They're going to die soon. They haven't used Army of the Dead again, have they? They might not have used Army of the Dead yet, so they might have that up their sleeve to protect them. But I'm not holding on to hope here. We are definitely in a bad position. I didn't get the things I needed when I needed them. And I lost all my heroes. That that also really sucks. And you know what the worst thing is? Half of it wasn't my fault. It's just that half of them didn't move when I told them to move. Which is unfortunately has always been a thing with um, Idain. Heroes are sometimes just never obey your commands. Either by lag or some other mysterious force telling you it's your time to die now. Um... Speaking of which, and yeah, unfortunately, Baron's last alliance on their own against heroes are not very good. I swear to God, if this goes against Gothmog, thank you. Go all wide. Cleave everything away. Oh, my God. If I get one more Sonic song off, I have a chance, because that clump is a big clump. It's a very big clump. And I'm not going to throw down Luffy's song to paralyze them. This tower that is currently indestructible is going to do as much damage as it can to that troll. But yeah, no. This is it. This is the end. Unless my ally can pull something out, a rabbit out their hat. Yeah, they just summoned out AOD again, so they've cleared that quite nicely. But unfortunately, that doesn't save me. That doesn't save me from this fate I am now suffering from. Uh, Brizzle Monway isn't going to save me. Not even in the slightest, because now all my units are dead, yep. My one Blade Master unit that survived this entire game is now going to die. Yeah, this is GG. Well, it's good to know now that um, fighting 4AI is not really possible on your own. With an AI, is basically just saying you're, you've just got a AI that can't, that you've just got a player that doesn't help you. Which is like uh, rem reminds me of good old the good old days of playing multiplayer games with with players that just did nothing, which is yeah, which is why I don't typically play games with other players. Not because they do badly, but because it makes me feel bad. Yeah. Oh well, we did what we could. We did everything we could to stem the tide but that is unfortunately g g i'm just going to exit the game now just to save us another 10 minutes of waiting for the ai to crush us hope you've all enjoyed this little life lesson that uh yeah at the foot about the 35 minute mark the ai take it seriously they start playing around and to be fair i should have stopped playing around at one point or another i should have gone 
and cleaved out one of them earlier, taking it out, taking the camp and so on. But that is a life lesson we all learnt. Pl trying to play against four AI is not going to work. So I'm just going to close these off and prepare for the next video. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Farewell.